Well, Paul, nil-nil. Another point on the board. What are your immediate reactions after that? Uh, Pleased with keeping a clean sheet. I just didn't think in a final third we were as good as we have been in recent weeks. The final pass, you know, there's a few uh, opportunities we had. Um, in fairness, they had probably better opportunities than we had on the counter-attack. They, um, the two up top caused all sorts of problems, really, and the pace. Um, so, overall, I think it's a point gained. I don't think we, we deserved all three. However, I have said to the group that, you know, in games like that, it's set pieces that win games. When it's really sort of tight and it's difficult to create chances because they, they sink in and we found it difficult to break them down, truth be told. So um, away from home, sometimes you get that. So I just felt that, you know, we just needed a set piece to come off the one with Colo near post late on. Another day that goes in, we leave here feeling great. But I think uh, over the course of the game, I don't think we can say we deserved all three. What did you like about what you saw in terms of keeping the clean sheet and the way that the side battled? Um, well, I like loads of loads of things. I just didn't think that. I thought we transported the ball pretty well. I thought um, I just felt that the final third actions, like the final ball into the, the striker or the final shot, or it was just just everyone was just a little bit off and. And that's sometimes how football is. So I like that. I like the battling. I like the fact the lads keep going to the final whistle. I, you know, I know last this time last year. Sorry, when we played Lincoln away last year, uh, we lost here. So I like the fact that the lads can grind out a result even when they're not at their best. So they're all good attributes to a good team. So I like all that. And I like to see how disappointed they are in the dressing room after a draw. They feel like you know it's two points gone. But like I said, at the end of the season, it could be the point that, that gets you where you want to be. But we came for three. We didn't get it. We rode our luck a few times. There's no dispute in that. But um, overall, I'm, I'm pretty proud of the performance because it's never an easy place to come, as many teams can testify to. When you've won 10 out of 12 going into the game, and, and you mentioned there the lads are disappointed that they haven't won the game, is that where you sort of just have to manage it to say, hey, come on, you've been on you're one defeat in 13, you've got a point and a clean sheet away from home, move on, go on to Reading? Yeah, I mean, you can ask the lads when you interview them. I always say to them, no, I'd rather you sulk for a bit. Just let it sink in and if you're disappointed if you're not disappointed then you're at the wrong football club we try and win every game we play in we're expected to win every game we play in so if you don't like you know just take it on the chin for a bit and then um, you know in an hour or two you can look back and think look we're on a really good run but we're on a really good run because we do great things in the crucial moments and today we didn't and that's why we haven't come away with three points so look the lads are in good place they're disappointed that they've only come away with a point but you know no, no team comes and goes, you know, I'll lay down and just let you run all over us. It's not the case. So today it was a, a tough game for us. Um, appreciate the support of staying with the team, but um, we just weren't good enough. And sometimes you get that. And like I said, if we'd have scored late on the set piece, we'd leave here feeling great. Um, and, you know, League, <laughs> League One is like that at times. So uh, really pleased. Uh, and, um, you know, we obviously tell the lads how great they are all the time. But, um, you know, sometimes, you know, they need to feel it as well clean sheet for Josh Vickers in, in the league as well the first one for him in a, a Derby shirt how pleased are you, are you for him because you'll know it was sort of a special day for him coming back to, to Lincoln today yeah uh, I mean in fairness he kept us in it then he made a couple of great saves and Cash cleared one off the line as well uh, from a good save from Josh so really pleased for Josh like, you know he's, he's been here for years he lives here you know he lived here with his partner so it means a lot to him this place so for him to keep a clean sheet is um, probably the highlight the memory that I'll keep from the game really there wasn't a lot that I'd like to keep in my long term memory but um, that is something special so yeah pleased for Josh Um, you know he's obviously been through a horrific time so the dress room are pleased for Josh but I didn't think we helped him out enough um, today in front in the front uh, the defensive line we got caught a couple of times with pace and Hence why I love pace above anything, because pace kills, and it, it nearly killed us off today. But luckily, we had a, a good goalkeeper and a good man in between the sticks. So you just selves down and, and go again on Monday in training, get yourselves ready yeah, for, yeah, for Reading. Yeah. There's no drama, is there? There's no drama. If we, like I said to the lads, if we could win uh, Tuesday night and we get four points from two away games, that's pretty good. The fact is that our away form is so excellent. We've got to a stage now where a draw away from home is like boo hiss, but um, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like that. I just feel like we, we probably got a point another time. You know, the ref might give a penalty. The ref might sell, sorry, send Kane off. And all of a sudden you lost. You're down to 10 men. You feel worse about yourself. We, we rode the storm when we had to. Uh, we just didn't have enough to win the game. And that's my honest appraisal.